sing that one song everywhere I go, they ask. And uh, it is number 11 on this one. Uh, you didn't have to love me, but you did. How many have got our CDs? You got them? Oh, you do! Would you recommend it to others? If you go like this, that's right. Okay. All right, you can see Brother Tom and Sister Olga up there after. All right, this is a prayer. And it leads into my message this morning. You didn't have to love me, Lord, but you did. I want to thank the worship leaders today and the singers and all those and the musicians being sensitive. I enjoy worshiping today. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, I've been at a lot of churches. I travel a lot now. In, in uh, just over a month, a month and a half, I'll be flying into Pakistan and then into India and over a month doing all that area and then coming back and then uh, planning then to go to Africa and uh, Egypt and back into Romania. So I've got a busy week coming, or a, week, a year coming up, and uh, it's so exciting. But there's something missing in Canada that concerns me in North America, and that's the purity of worship. Amen. And uh, you caught on to it today. There was moments that were so sweet and so precious yes. that I just felt angels had to stop to watch God's redeemed people give glory to God. Hallelujah. It was wonderful to me. Well, this song is, You Didn't Have to Love Me, Lord, but you did. And I'm so grateful that you did. Oh 
all that you saved us and you heal us and you keep us. And I'm so thankful that you do.